Yeah, TikTok again. I don't normally do intros like this, but I'm currently descending hundreds of feet into a cave that runs over five kilometers deep into the earth. And whether we like it... Synes I, chat? Synes I, at Mr. Beast, han skal svare på de der allegations? Eller skal han bare til stille? Jeg synes, hvis jeg var ham, havde jeg ikke svaret. Jeg synes jeg ikke. As soon as my friends and I touch the ground, we are officially stranded here for the next seven days. That might have been the scariest thing I've ever done. First things first, we gotta get really far away from where we repelled down. Why? If it storms, this entire area could flash flood, fill up like an ocean, and potentially drown us all. Which is why we're going deep into the cave to set up base camp. Yeah, zoom on the bro. Dude, this is like a different world. This cave entrance may be beautiful, but looks can be deceiving. We didn't know it yet, but the next seven days will by far be the hardest of our entire lives. Det siger han i hver video. Ej, var det gode videoer. Jeg tæmper. Jeg tæmper for gode videoer. Og så den der redigering, altså. Perfect is the crazy word. Good enough is what I would use. Good enough for camp. We spent the rest of day one grabbing our supplies that we were dropped with. Each one of these bags weighs like 80 pounds. And as you can see by the footage, we spent around four hours. This is very hard to traverse. Getting all of it back up to our base camp. Chat, will you tour? Guys, no there. Some lights on in here. Our supplies are finally at our home base. And if you point the camera over there, you'll see it's pitch black. It took all day. And so, we set up the bare minimum for camping grounds. We drilled holes to hang up some ropes. Grab these. Nu kommer jeg med take her. Og jeg har sagt det før på streamen. Men jeg vil aldrig nogensinde gøre noget, der øger chancen for, at jeg dør. Gør det mening? Altså, jeg vil aldrig gøre noget, hvis det øger chancen for, at jeg dør. For eksempel, at springe ud for et fly faldskærm. Det vil jeg aldrig gøre, fordi, du ved, hvorfor dø? Kan du følge mig? Det er ikke sjovt at dø. And with the help of our survival guide Joel, we hung our hammocks. Yeah, dude, I made a video where I flew a helicopter because it was fine, so can you follow me? This rope is what holds up my hammock. Yeah. Ate some dinner and prepared for a very cold night one. Not gonna lie, this hammock is way more comfortable than I thought it would be. Hey. Oh God. Why is my head so big, bro? This part of the cave is two and a half kilometers deep, and we're busy camping at the entrance. Tomorrow we have a lot of exploring. Tror du, at nogen af hans videoer er fake? Nej. Hvordan gjorde I sleep? Horribly. Jeg gjorde det ikke. Det er et meget perplexing environment. Det er konstant drippet vandet på os fra oppe, så vi har et tarp over os. Men even still, det vandet er drippet ind i vores hammer. Jeg har en idé. Lad os gøre vores shelter faktisk godt. Jeg siger, at vi connect disse tarp, så vi stiger dry, mens vi sleeper. Det er literally genius. Jeg er ikke bare en YouTuber, okay? Min hammer går ud her. Hahaha! Are we serious right now? This is where I just got out of bed. And we didn't realize it at the time, but this hole is almost 40 feet deep. Man, I sound like Chandler. I got started on the super tarp. Mac and Carl went to see how dangerous this hole was for themselves. That's why I got nude off fake. That is where I slept. Now look at this. Because everything looks the same, and it's probably pretty hard to follow us in this cave. On this map, we can't see our own base and how far they're moving away from it. All right, Mac. It's been real, bro. Oh, bro, this is crazy. Well, boys are randomly exploring. Then tell the fam on the road. Actually, have to work on the camp. Why is there a sleeping bag over here? Uh, because it smelled like pee. Ew. Lesson number one, don't rent your sleeping bags. Why did we rent sleeping I, bags? I, Why did we not just buy sleeping bags? We're zip tying the tarps together to create one mega tarp. Don't mind me, just... These like tubby swim on the bro. rope with my life. Oh, and man. Mac and Carl were still in a hole. Oh, my God. Ah. And eventually, they finally made it to the bottom. Hey! Og jo, jeg har set videoerne med ham der, der exposer ham, men han exposer jo ikke rigtig noget. Altså sådan, er vi ikke enige om det eneste, som han exposede, øh, jeg har set den selv. Det eneste, han har exposed, det er bare det der med, at der var en eller anden, den der challenge på en tømmerflåde, hvor han øh, sov på en eller anden produktionsbåd eller et eller andet. Er vi ikke enige om sådan, det er basically det eneste, så er det det der med, at nogle gange tager han... Folk han kender med videoerne til det der pige versus et eller andet, bro. Det er jo sådan, det er jo lige gyldigt, altså. Working on camp. We just want to show how dangerous camp was. Just don't fall. It's a skill issue. Oh, okay. And even though they should have been on their way back, Carl and Mac insisted on seeing how deep they could go. Bro, det der var jeg aldrig tur. You think you can make it through the river? Do these two know this river actually runs throughout the entire cave, which means we'll be spending some time in it. Oh, there they are. Tell me you 
you guys cooked? Oh, we cooked. That's right. <laughs> a new home, am I right? Let's go. We now have a roof. Look, Look at this. I'm not gonna lie, you actually kind of crushed And we moved the fire pit to this little cove nice. we found. What do you think? It's warmer. I'm not sure if these rocks trap the heat here and block the pee from the rocks above. It's not pee. What, what, what do I call it? I don't know, maybe rain or something. It's, it's not rain, oh, it's rock. Baby. Right, point it up. Do you see clouds? No, you see rocks. It's not rain. Rock pee. Rock pee. Hvor mange, hvor mange kamermænd tror jeg, han er med der? Alright, it's rock pee. And after a much drier night of sleep, we decided to have Joel, our survival expert, help us get all the way to the end of the cave. Cave! 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 cave. Yeah. Let's see how deep in the cave we can make it. Now, keep in mind that we are still just at the beginning well, of this the next level. Level. And our goal is to make it's it all the way that through that it without dying, thing. of course. Ah. Oh my gosh, this is kind of steep. Bro, you ain't seen nothing yet. We're going deep in the cave. All right, boys, suck in your guts. So where things get tight. I don't actually think I'm gonna fit. The interesting part about cave exploration is one second, you're barely fitting through cracks in the rocks. Oh my God, this is so tight. And then the next, you're in a massive chamber, so big that in order to see it all, we had to do this. Woo! Oh my God. I can actually see now. This is awesome. This thing is bright. Yeah, I did it. Bro, look at how cool this is. Yeah! so bright, I can't even look at it. I'm, I'm like getting blinded. Oh no! Oh no! In hindsight, we probably didn't use that the most effectively. Lead the way. And so we continued on. Joe Frey is a really good handle at the top right. there. Yeah, 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 you can sort of swing your foot around onto this one. Like this? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Joel, the best caving guide ever. <laughs> no one's died yet. All right, guys, this is where things get interesting. What? What is this? So from this point on, wetsuits. We're going for a swim. Yes, no, 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 no. Meeting wetsuits are the only way to not get hypothermia. Why are we doing this? This is a little bit of 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 a Nej, nej, nej. I don't know if I fit. Jimmy, I need to Hvordan fanden får kameramændene? What's crazy about doing this? Oh, it's so cold! Is when you're completely submerged in freezing cold water, gripping onto the rocks becomes incredibly hard. Uh, oh my gosh, that was crazy! Matt, Carl, let's go! Oh, you got this! Nej, det ville jeg aldrig gøre det der. Look how crazy this is, yeah? And even though this obstacle was difficult, it's nothing compared to what's up ahead. Which means we've only scratched the surface of this expedition, and we still have over two kilometers remaining. Crazy so good again, yep. As you can see, it rains in this cave 24-7. So I'm making a chill spot for us to hang out in and not get wet. I wonder what it would look like yeah, if I was here to build all this. I'm pretty sure they'd just be sleeping in a pile on a wet rock. That's why I'm just thinking. So difficult. Oh, 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 what, what, what is that? Uh, the worst part is every inch we go this way is an inch we gotta go that way to get back to camp. Our next obstacle may be out of the water, but that doesn't make it any easier to get through. Oh, is that a spider wind? Why don't I see a spider? Did I keep, uh, that means it's probably out of This cave is like a Mr. Beast video. The further you go, the harder it gets. Just straight up, if we didn't have Joel, I'd be dead. And after three hours, Joel had some bad news for us. The water's too high and we're taking too long. We're gonna have to turn around for today and head back to camp. I disagree! You can't disagree with the safety expert! I disagree! Well, we can't really disagree. It turns out we wasted way too much time filming and playing with flares to the point where we now had to restart and attempt this mission another day. Good to that. This is good to them. Sean, we're back! What did you do while we were gone? Hopefully nobody gets wet now. Right, I didn't even know we packed lights. Yeah, they're awesome, right? Sadly, we only made it 20% through the cave today. But mark my words, we will go the distance. Toy to come again with the toy. I doubt I, it. That's not gonna happen. We might rest on day four, and then on day five, try to go all the way to the end of the cave and see what's there. <laughs> day three was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is so difficult. After a third, miserable night in the That's cave, it. the next morning we only had one thing in mind. A hot shower would literally save my life right now. Oh, a showering would be awesome. I haven't showered in three 
Loki, jeg føler sådan, at jeg også er ligegyldig, hvis du ikke er sammen med andre normale mennesker. Tak. I feel my brain. I've never felt my brain like this. My forehead is frostbite. Let's use the drone to dry our heads off. Come here, drone. Oh, brother, stop, stop. It's actually working. Yeah, it is working. Who needs a hair dryer when you have a drone? And after we dried off, we sat down with Joel to plan our journey. What is this, Joel? This is the map of the cave. Last time, we had to stop because of the fast-moving water. But the rains are yeah, falling, so we want to just get a little bit of time to get by tomorrow. Dude, this is about to be wild. Jeg vil sagtens skulle gå en uge her hjemme og ud af vandet. Straight up. Nu kommer jeg til ikke, men fordi altså han er den bedste til at reklame der findes i hele verden. Det er for det første. For det andet, ikke? Sofie må have dig. Nej, pander der ikke. Det er fanden Gustav Bolle. Det gør hun. Øhm, men, i min opinion, han behøver ikke at nævne Feastables mere i sin videoer. Hey, little bro. Vi ved godt, det er din chokolade. Slap af. Kan du følge mig? Eller tror I, han får mere salg af at sige det her? Det tror jeg altså ikke. Hvis jeg vil købe en Feastables, så ved jeg godt, at det er hans eye at this point. Kan du følge mig? Du ved, I don't know. Det tror jeg ikke, det tror jeg ikke. Jeg tror ikke, han kan se, at nu har jeg udgivet en video, så nu går folk ned og køber. Men jeg vil godt se egentlig, om man egentlig bare koster 25 kroner eller sådan noget To ensure our best chance of survival, in addition to Joel, we brought another survival expert with us. Yeah, close, they close. Stop on day three. How we doing? I think we're making much better time. Behind us, it's pitch black. Where do we go? This area gets narrower. The current's strong, so we're gonna use the walls and kind of climb our way along. Yep, through we go. Oh shit. Yeah, I need people. Jeg tror, at de på et eller andet tidspunkt bliver nødt til at overnatte et sted, der ikke er deres base camp. What the fuck? Det kan ikke være rigtigt, det der, det kan. Det kan ikke være rigtigt. What the fuck? Bro, det der vil jeg aldrig ture. Tænk hvis der er en rock lige der. We gotta keep going or we won't hit the end. Oh my god. Can we go downstream? Why are we always fighting the current? I might just start drifting away. I might just give it up. There are sharp rocks underneath the water. You cannot see them, so watch your step. Oh my god. But it's getting deep again. I can't. I need to put my feet up. And if the sharp rocks weren't enough of a challenge, it seems like with every step we took. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, I can't oh. see anything. This is terrifying. The caves became darker. 
and ruthless enough that we began to question if we could even get to the finish line. Oh. Oh. This is exhausting. This game is about to get a lot harder, and I have something I need to show all of you. Joel, can I see your bag? Thank you. You know what you've been carrying? Eight feasibles, eight feasibles. Mr. B Slab Swarm. I'll be honest, guys. As Stop. you can see, because of what I've been going through for the past five hours, <laughs> I'm clearly in no shape to tell you about this right now. And so, a month after we filmed this, I built an entire cave set, threw on my future Jimmy name tag, and then said, Hey, future Jimmy here, and I'm going to tell you about my brand new toy line of Mr. B Slab Swarms. It's a cool. Ben, 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 jeg er blevet nødt til at lave det efter. Det er så respektabelt. Jeg har aldrig nogensinde set noget lignende. Det kan jeg virkelig respektere. Holy shit. Det er en toyline med over 119 uniquely designed characters, som du kan collect. Og det coolest part er, at finde ud af, hvilke karakter du har, du bruger vand i denne tube, skal det op, og de svarmer vil være i front af dine very eyes. Og for at demonstrere det produkt, er det stil, det er stil. Hey, hey. Klogt at lave et legetøj. Det skulle have lukket en lot for chokolade nu. Is filled with water. Max is gonna give it a little shakeage. Oh. <laughs> is it shaken up enough? I think it's shaken up enough. Then you pour out the water. Do the honors, Joel. And out of the water will be revealed which two swarms you got. This is the rarest one. The hype. Vent vel? Vent vel? Vent vel? So you hella vent in all? And so spawn it? Do you understand? I'm the only one who understands this. Paper chrome that I only made a thousand of. Joel, you can have it. You can have that one. Where's Carl again? I only have two. And we didn't just stop with the swarms. We also made these action figure panthers that are in these briefcases, and this mutator that just like the swarms has a really cool reveal when you buy it. Where do I buy them? I'm glad you asked. Mr. Beast Lab toys are now available everywhere in the world. That's a clue. They're all out now. Go give them a try. And after more brutal trekking throughout the cave, we finally arrived at the glowworm chamber. Man, this better be worth it. Alrighty, team. Welcome to the glowworm chamber. Whoa! Holy crap! When it is looting, you know, sir. Dude, this does not look like it's Earth. All of the lights you see here are actually created by tiny bioluminescent glowworms. That kind of looks like the Milky Way galaxy. Wow. At this moment, this view. Honestly, made Yo, that trek worth it. While making it to the glowworms was definitely worth the trip, our journey was still not over. Because we had to go all the way back, back to the base. It's almost day six. What the fuck? Back, and I'm exhausted. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep, though. I'm just worried with them being gone so long. The trip back is way easier because we're just floating with the current. Now, because you guys have already seen the trip, we're going to expedite the way back. But seriously, this whole journey took so long, we crossed into day six before reaching camp. Damn. <laughs> What's up, guys? I was starting to get worried. Happy day six. Day six, let's go. All we had energy to do was thaw out by the fire and finally eat some food. That was a very adventurous day. I'll see you guys tomorrow or later today. It is day six. Yeah, maybe today, I don't know. Despite being physically obliterated from our excruciatingly long hike, no matter what I did, I was really struggling to fall asleep. I spent seven days in solitary confinement, seven days buried alive, seven days on a raft. And I'm gonna be honest, I think this is harder than all of those. You're constantly soggy and cold. I just keep hitting my body on these hard rocks and it hurts. 90% of the time this cave is miserable. But between me and you. Jimmy! Yo! Carl! Can you see me? Ah! Ah! It's about the friends we made along the way. We had a lot of fun. It's 300 feet underground. For me and the boys laughing in our hammocks. <laughs> All the misery is worth it. Because when you're in good company, let's make whale noises. This wet, cold, rocky, miserable cave can easily transform into the most beautiful trip of our lives. Damn. We cannot leave until everything is picked up. And when I say everything, I mean everything. 
Let's get out of here. And after our journey back to the mouth of the cave. Oh, it looks so good up there. We had one more surprise for Joel. And before we head out, Joel, as a show of gratitude, we got yeah. you 50,000 New Zealand dollars. So it's 10 grand for every human you didn't let die. Oh, gosh. Thanks so much, Joel. We love you, Joel. And now we got that. Love you, Joel. Damn, damn. Jeg tror ikke, øh, jeg tror ikke, jeg skal lige til at sige noget rigtig skørt. Øh, men jeg tror ikke, den her video kommer til at klare sig lidt godt som hans andre. Og skal jeg se hvorfor? Jeg føler normalt, hans video er vi ikke enige om, at peaket, det ligesom er til sidst i videoen. Okay, nu ved jeg godt, at jeg er lidt nørdet her, ikke? Men jeg føler normalt, så plejer det at være til sidst i videoen, den peaker, og så er det, Åh, jeg sidder bare next time! Boom. Kan du følge mig? Men her føler lidt den peaket der i caven. Kan du følge mig? Skud, Mr. Beast. Det er min bror. Jeg håber, han ser den her video. Jeg tror ikke, jeg tror ikke, Mr. Beast kanal dør. Der er ikke nogen, der er i nærheden af, at jeg kunne gøre det, han gør. Det er jamtet, men det er en god... Det er, altså, det er en griner video. Det er en fucking god video. Se Nomi Lukas' nye video. Jamen, vi skal ikke se mere end YouTube nu, chat. 